Hey everyone, back from the past, Muckluck here, and this is a guide on the old Lion's Court strike mission. Now let's get to the point. You can enter this strike from the portal in Lion's Arch or Arborstone. Bring some CC for this fight, but unlike most encounters, do not CC every time you see a break bar. We will only be CCing when all three robots are on the field, not when one of them is alone. First, we fight Red. Every bot has a big deadly AoE with a safe spot. If you interrupt it, the safe spot and the AoE will swap, and it will probably kill your group. Stand in the safe spot and don't interrupt. Next, Red does the in and out mechanic. Either be inside or outside the Red Donut, it doesn't matter. All future times she does this, look at the arrows and follow them. The arrows are client side, so you may not be running the same place your allies are. That is fine. Red circles are bad. Red occasionally drops puddles on the ground that linger. You don't want those in the middle of the room, so fight outside of the middle when you have that option. At 80%, green spawns. When the bots have the big sphere around them, they are invulnerable. Don't CC. Green sometimes does a vacuum attack like Jade Junkyard. Run away from it until it is over, then return. Red circles are still bad. If green is chasing you, keep it out of the middle. When green hits 80%, blue spawns. Blue stays in the middle, that's the reason we wanted to keep it clean. Avoid the big AoE, don't CC it. Blue tries to push you away, stay close to it to survive. Opposite of green's vacuum mechanic. If you get a red circle on you at any time, run it out. At 80%, all three spawn, and you want to interrupt the green one. This will make a safe area you can then run to. After this, you fight red, then green, then blue, from 80% to 40% one at a time. They do the same mechanics, you've already seen, but the other bots will sometimes come in and try to nuke the room. Just run to the safe areas and don't CC them when there is two on the field. Keep red and green out of the middle to keep it clean for when blue is there. When all three reach 40%, they will all three begin nuking the room again. Interrupt red this time and a safe spot will appear. After this, you fight two bots at a time with the third bot occasionally popping in to briefly do their safe spot AoE. They need to be split apart. If red or green is chasing you, lure them away from each other until you see the beam connecting them break. Since blue stays in the middle, you have to pull the other bots away from blue. When all three bots reach 10% health, they all begin to nuke the room again. This is the third time this has happened. We interrupt blue this time to reveal a safe area. From 10% to dead, all three are on the field. Hit whichever one does not have a shield. They still do the same mechanics. Occasionally, you may get a mechanic where you are tethered to a spot on the ground. Run away from it until it breaks and it will teleport you back. Get all three to zero and you win. That's all there is to it. Similar to the Veil Guardians in Raid Wing 1, this fight shows the three enemies' mechanics rather early. The challenge is when your pug is dealing with them all at once. To recap, Keep red and green out of the middle. The three times we interrupted during this entire encounter were when all three bots were nuking the room. We interrupted green the first time, then red, then blue, in that order. No other interrupts were done during this encounter. Red areas are bad. Green tries to pull you in. Fight it. Blue tries to push you away. Fight it. If they have the shield, either wait or hit something else. Break the tethers, whether it is you connected to the ground or two bots connected to each other. Now you know you have a thing for curvy robots. You're welcome. Click these links.